Let me put it to you this way. We've had how many uh, industrial revolutions? The fourth industrial revolution is based on IT. But I'm saying, let's not just look at IT. We have to drive manufacturing in this country. And if entrepreneurs, especially women entrepreneurs in Limpopo, can look at manufacturing as a driver for them in their businesses, I think that will be profound. That's the next revolution that needs to happen. We need to drive manufacturing in the rest of Africa to make sure that we've got 1.4 billion people in, in, in Africa. Imagine if you've got that many people in this country and you have a need that you can satisfy by manufacturing a product. Let me give you an, an example. We all know that we all love Magnum ice cream. But are you aware that the ice cream sticks have to be imported? Now, I'm saying, and I'm putting a challenge out there to our women entrepreneurs to say, can you go and decide and think about manufacturing ice cream sticks? Imagine how much money you'll be able to make because we don't have anyone manufacturing this. I mean, we have people, uh, companies importing toothpicks from China. I mean, really? We've got such huge forests in this country. Let us look into those things. The fourth industrial revolution, um, which is based on IT, yes, good, no problem. Let's look into that. But let's also look at manufacturing. How many manufacturers are there? What can we do in order to change the mindset and believe that we can add value? Because manufacturing is adding value to any other product. We need to change the status quo that we are currently having in this country to make sure that we drive manufacturing processes so that we become the next uh, a country where the revolution of manufacturing will be based in so that we can show the world that Africa is not just a, co a country of consumers, but we are manufacturers as well.